to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Tuesday, January 16th of 2024. The Dominican Newspaper Society yesterday expressed its concern regarding the ambiguities they perceive in some articles of the new law that creates the National Intelligence Directorate, DNI. Haiti has entered a new scenario of protest, destruction, and threats, this time under the leadership of the former rebel leader and coup leader Guy Philippe, making the populations here stand on end due to his threats to take power by force of arms. Blockades on the main roads with trucks maintained by groups in several cities in the north and northeast of Haiti prevented non-residents, buyers, and sellers in Juana Mendes from participating in the binational trade yesterday. It will be today, starting at 8.30 in the morning, when experts and actors involved in the transit and mobility system will unite their criteria in the form of urban mobility proposed by Listín Diario in the search for joint proposals that allow us to reduce the impact generated by long blockages on the country's population and economy. The Minister of Education, Angel Hernandez, reported yesterday that they will install temporary mobile classrooms for the operation of the Las Cajeras Primary School in Bani, whose campus was demolished and construction has not yet begun. The president of Group Punta Cana, Frank Elias Rainieri, announced the participation of the business group and its brands in the 44th International Tourism Fair, Fitur 2024, to be held in Madrid, Spain, where they will announce new tourism investment projects that they will be developing. The People's Four Party is instructing the lawyers to represent them in the Superior Electoral Court to proceed to challenge in each case that has to do with them, three of the judges of the constitutional body. The Prosecutor's Office of La Alta Gracia, under the direction of the new prosecutor, Claudia Lorena Garrido, will investigate the dissemination of images of a minor tortured and later killed in the municipal district of Verón y Güell. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.